in this video we're going to test the low light performance of the Veltrox 13mm lens and I'm going to do this by taking it into a dark forest and trying to make a wee short Everything film. in this video is going to be recorded by the Veltrox lens including this shot. How else can you test low light performance other than actually shooting in the dark? The plan is to hike up Belfast's most iconic mountain top called Cave Hill. It overlooks the city, the view is amazing from the top, but to get there we need to get through a dark forest first and then hopefully we'll find a wee cave at the top where we can set a wee campfire. So that is the plan. We just uh, landed in the forest, that's the bottom, and we're gonna hike up, up and there. Hopefully we'll find our way, it's getting really dark. Oh, yes, I almost forgot to mention, during the video I'm going to sprinkle in five of my most important tips for shooting in low light, hopefully it'll help you out. Tip number one is low light is not no light. So we just brought two of these tube lights into the forest. So that will help us to light up what we see. Half 10 in the UK. I'm super impressed so far. I'm shooting at f1.4, so I want to see how well the lens can focus in the dark. I can see the way um, square in my eye. Yeah, it is on. It's on. Check out this place, man. Super cool. Back to tip number one, when you lighten a scene, always let it from behind and record into the shadow. That's how you get the cinematic shots. When you have the light coming from the back and you record it into the shadow, it looks the best. Guys, I have to stop here because I hear noises. Somebody's coming in the forest. I don't want to bump into anybody in the dark forest with all the camera gear on me. It's thousands worth. Imagine it. Thank God. Okay, I'll continue my journey. A couple of guys just walked past me. I was freaking out, so I had to hide. So I'm gonna give you tip number two. Um, always shoot wide open while recording in the dark because that takes the pressure off the sensor and you don't have to uh, increase the ISO. So you're not gonna get the grainy images. We're at 2000 ISO at the moment and I'm 50% on the tube light. So yeah, this is what you get in the deep, dark forest. Like, look at that, man. Fucking dark. That's dark. I have no idea what way to go. Down this way, man. Or that way. Gonna give it a go this way. Hopefully, we'll head the right direction. I'm trying to find this cave. A bit lost, to be honest. So, hopefully, we'll find a way out. And there's no phone signal. So, I really have no idea what we're doing or where we're going. But it's beautiful. It's so nice. Hope you appreciate the work I'm putting in here. We're getting up to the top here, isn't it beautiful? Look at that, that's Belfast by the way. While we're up here, let me give you tip number three. It's shoot at a low frame rate, because the lower the frame rate, the lower the shutter speed you can use. So we're shooting at 24 frames per second with 48 shutter speed. The lower shutter speed let more light into the camera sensor, so that means lower ISO and better quality images. Keep your frame rate low. Midnight, we just get up to the top. At the end, we find the cave. Look at that. Yes, we made it to the top. While we're at the top here, let me give you tip number four. Don't be afraid of high ISO. Yes, the image is gonna be grainy, but you can always apply noise reduction in post or in camera. Let me show you around my cave. It's perfectly waterproof. Let's have the two lights. Check this out, guys. Let me give you tip number five from the cave. Exposure is king, as always. And what you want to remember is when you're shooting in low light is never expose for the shadows, always expose for the highlights and the mid-tones, because that's how you get the perfect exposure every single time.
that was it guys we're heading back to the car thank you so much for watching i hope you liked it and hope you appreciate the effort i'm putting in it was a proper hike in the dark in the middle of nowhere super scary and creepy i risked my life to climb up to the cave just to test the slow light for you so yeah a like and uh, a sub would be appreciated and thank you guys see you in the next one bye